basically Dr. Shin Najib has apologized and coming up to today's decision and with this uh, decision to end the defense, how did he take it? Because he had apologized. Okay. Many of you, including uh, a lot of politicians on the other side, have some of you have uh, innocently misinterpreted, but the politicians have purposely misinterpreted. Datuk Sri Najib apologized that the one MDB debacle happened during his watch. He's not saying that I did it. He's not saying that. He has to apologize because he's number one. They are under the Westminster system. If you are the head of the government and a bad thing happened under your watch, you apologize. Among other things, you apologize. And that's what precisely he did. He did not ap apologize for those purposes in order to get a better result here, no. He thought that it was, it was already due for him to apologize merely because it took place during his watch yeah uh, he's not saying he's guilty criminally or negligently or recklessly yes anything else see why now why the timing is the apology after all this time yes you see he has given a statement in his civil trial pertaining to one enemy he is being consistent after looking at all the documents but what is more interesting, witnesses, even from the prosecution, and you will hear this this afternoon uh, from another witness who is uh, from the liquidator uh, firm overseas, who will say who were the rascals, who were the culprits who actually have done the scam on one end. You will hear from him. And he mentioned no name about Dr. Sinai. 